I've come here to North Walsham where one of our greatest naval heroes, Admiral Lord Nelson, received his final education before going off for a life at sea. It's quite something to be standing here in the Nelson Room of Paston Sixth Form College. Not so many decades ago, it was just called Paston School. But centuries before that, this is where Lord Nelson was educated before he went off to sea as a 12-year-old boy. The Paston Sixth Form College remains an important educational establishment in Norfolk. Numerous students pass through here as part of their education. They may not necessarily go on to achieve some of the things that Lord Nelson achieved during his lifetime, but many will go on to make a valuable contribution to society. Next door is the host room. Sir so William Host was one of Nelson's protégés. Nelson first took Host to sea in 1793 when he gained command of HMS Agamemnon. Host went on to become one of the great maritime heroes after Nelson. Burnham Thorpe, Wells, Lynn, Norwich are amongst the Norfolk places we associate with Nelson. Nelson saw the Norfolk coast and particularly the port of Yarmouth many times in later life. In December of 1781, he was the young captain of the frigate Albemarle, helping bring a convoy back from Denmark. The convoy sheltered over Christmas in Yarmouth Roads, waiting for the weather to abate before it could journey on to the Downs. In 1800, he returned to Yarmouth in triumph after his great victory over the French fleet off the Nile. He had made his way back across Europe, fated by many on the way, in the company of William and Emma Hamilton. The reenactment in 2000 was not strictly correct because Nelson's party actually landed in Galston before journeying into Yarmouth itself, but it certainly carried a feeling for the occasion with British redcoats and tars saluting the man who in his time was worshipped as a national saviour. The replica frigate Grand Turk firing her cannon in the river, gave a flavour of the mass of naval and merchant shipping which would once have been in the harbour or anchored in the roads. Nelson would be back in the town a year later, supporting Admiral Hyde Parker, who commanded the North Sea Fleet, whose base was in the town. The fleet was preparing to journey to the Baltic. The intent to make British naval power felt off Denmark and Russia led to the Battle of Copenhagen, when Nelson achieved rather more prominence than the official fleet commander by putting his telescope to his blinded eye and maintaining the attack at a crucial point. After Nelson's death at Trafalgar, the county was anxious to recognise its famous son, and it was at Great Yarmouth that the first memorial pillar was erected to him. We join Nelson historian Charles Lewis at the Norfolk Pillar. Behind me is one of Yarmouth's most unexpected treasures, perhaps. It's a monument to Nelson. In actual fact, it's the county monument to Nelson, and it was opened in 1819. People in Norfolk got rather worried that uh, in other towns in the country they were planning monuments to Nelson, and Norfolk hadn't done anything within three or four years of Nelson's death, and so it was proposed that they should have a monument. The county took some time after that in quibbling about exactly where the monument should be, and of course it took some time to raise all the necessary funds, and so it wasn't opened until 1819. But uh, why Yarmouth, some people have asked, and I suppose the answer is that Yarmouth was Norfolk's principal seaport. It was from Great Yarmouth that fleets sailed uh, to take part in two naval battles, one at Camperdown in 1797 off the Dutch coast and one at Copenhagen in 1801. Both of course great victories and the Battle of Copenhagen of course one of Nelson's victories. Nelson's principal ships and battles are recorded on the column and Britannia on top looks inland to his birthplace at Burnham Thorpe. Fittingly, the pillar was fully restored in 2005 to mark the bicentenary of Nelson's death. Yarmouth has further added to the recognition and the understanding of Nelson and his times with the Nelson Museum on the quayside. Its main exhibition is based substantially on the collection made by another son of Norfolk and former Paston schoolboy Ben Burgess. The Nelson Museum at Great Yarmouth and Charles Lewis's book Nelson, I am a Norfolk man, are two places where you can learn more about Lord Nelson and his protégés.
The video featured in this clip is from the Poppyland Publishing DVD, History, Herrings and Holidays.